Welcome to this special election broadcast. My guest now is veteran CPIM leader, uh, Mr. Manik Sarkar, the former chief minister of Tripura, one of the most respected political leaders, not just in Tripura, but in the entire Northeastern region. He is a CPIM Politburo member. He had been one of the longest serving chief ministers in the country. Uh, Mr. Manik Sarkar, uh, welcome to this special broadcast. Thank you. Uh, sir, the elections in Tripura this time was more or less violence free. Are you happy with the way things have gone? My only comment is this. In this election, the battle has been won by the electorate of Tripura because during the last five years under this BGP regime, electorate of Tripura could not exercise their franchise free and fearlessly. So this time with determination, the electorate braving all odds tried to create by the ruling party, BJP, uh, they exercise their franchise. Right. Uh, now you know, but, but it is also true, uh, you know, it is also true that uh, compared to the past, I am not trying to make anything political here, but compared to the past, the, the extent of violence was a uh, lot less this time round. Do you agree to that? No. Last time, 2018 election, all records are there. Not a single incident took place. And during left front regime, right to franchise was not actually taken away by the ruling parties or any political party did not raise any grievance in exercising their franchise freely and fearlessly. So there is this question does not come to compare with the earlier regime and this regime. This is completely different. BJP has been trying to convert Tripura as their laboratory, how to destroy democracy. Right. Now, as far as the, uh, the CPIM and the left is concerned, your opponents, your opponents are saying only one thing. They said only one thing during the campaign this time, that the CPIM Congress seat sharing has been an unholy alliance. They have used the word unholy alliance. Uh, how do you respond to this? Because this was one of the main campaign talk by the opposition parties or people who are opposed to you. <laughs> uh, you see, this atmosphere has been created by none other than BJP because in Tripura, fascistic attack has been going on since their inception in the office. No democracy was there, what I have mentioned already. It is, it is thoroughly attacked. Civil rights have been snatched away and opposition, they have been muzzled like anything. One party dictatorial rule, they have been trying to impose. Constitution of India does not work in Tripura under this regime. And secular fabric of our society has been destroyed like anything and particularly the minorities they have been put under severe mental pressure and especially I would say our mothers and sisters crime against them that has gone beyond any reach and barbaric facade has taken place. So in this situation, in this situation, uh, you see the, the people of Tripura, they have come out with a determination that if this government is allowed to come back again, the Tripura will be completely finished. So 
Tripura cannot be allowed to be finished, Tripura to be saved. And if Tripura does not save, then people of Tripura cannot save themselves. That's why they have come out during this election in a decisive manner. No, 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 your, your seat sharing with the Congress, that means... And you... in, this, in, this, in this situation, yeah, please listen, please, please listen. In this situation, in this situation, yes, what you have mentioned, that left uh, was against of Congress, Congress was very much against of left. That is the historical reality. But both these forces... They have been attacked like anything. They started their attack against the CPIM, then the left, and gradually, gradually even uh, attack on Congress. So this is what I have stated, that due to this fascistic attack, this BJP government has created this atmosphere, uh, both these parties to come close to each other. So that's why I must say, yeah. credit must go to the... BJP regime. Okay. Uh, that is an interesting, that is very interesting way of putting it. Uh, you know, but I spoke to some of the Congress leaders in Tripura. Some of them were quite unhappy. Oh, they left allowed us to contest only 13 seats. They took away the everything. They are contesting 47 seats. We were a major opposition party earlier. So there is some unhappiness. There was some unhappiness within the Congress. Do you think that would have impacted the Verdict. What's the point of discussing all these things now? All, all of the seat sharing, actually there is no political alliance. Only adjustment of seats. And that has been done in between thorough discussions time and again. Uh, both Congress leaders and CPM leaders, Congress leaders and left leaders. So now, vote is already over. over. Now people are waiting to see the results. Uh. Right. No, uh, uh, there is a context why I asked you this question. You know, for if you take the BJP, they have parties like Tipra Motha. Uh, if they run short, they can go to Tipra Motha to try and have some kind of an understanding. Now, I'm asking you this question. What are the options before the left and the Congress combination. Suppose you run short by a few numbers. Uh, what will be your options? What are the options before you? I think at this moment it is an impractical exercise. We all are waiting to see the outcome of the results. So only, only 48 hours. Please, you should also wait. People of Tripura, they are also waiting. The left and Congress, this they are hopeful of uh, getting the majority from the electorate. So let us see, let us see. So uh, after knowing the full results, when the picture will be clear, then we will be able to apply our mind and analyzing the situation, uh, we shall have to chalk out our tactical approach at this moment. But our main slogan was this, that BJP should not allow to come back. They should be kept outside the government. So that slogan still is existing and keeping that in mind, after the results are published, we will take our necessary steps at this point of time. So now, now you see, do you agree, do you agree, uh, uh, Manik Babu, that uh, the Tipra Motha has emerged as a major political force in Tripura this time? Do you agree? No, 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 this is correct that they are going to uh, establish uh, themselves that yes, they are developing as a political force, uh, nothing, nothing, nothing wrong in it. So what is the point of uh, agreement or disagreement? No, but their demand, what, what is your view on their demand for a greater Tipra land? Uh, the, the BJP has made it very clear that there can be no Tipra land, no separate Tipra land. You see, in our left election manifesto, we have categorically said for, for giving uh, the highest 
autonomous autonomy uh, for the tribal areas autonomous district council under six schedule yes uh, we have been fighting and this fight will on and it will be done only by the central government so from our side all sorts of pressures will be mounted uh, against the central government so that they come forward to take initiative to amend the constitution in a befitting manner so uh, that is a very important statement yes you have made it very clear in your last, manifesto la last 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 question last question okay uh, i have just two more questions i have just two more questions uh, you know the bjp has <laughs> unleashed the bjp has unleashed its political might there was the prime minister narendra modi who came amit shah the national president the neda convener dr himanta biswa sharma uh, why do you think the bjp unleashed its political might in tripura what were the reasons according to you it is actually you see we have been fighting bjp rss ideologically politically from the programmatic understanding and throughout the country against anti people policies of the bjp the the struggle it is emerging a gradually gradually in a very big way so in this situation might be tripura is a small state but it is very very important to bjp and also it is important to the non bjp democratic and secular forces right now the you know uh, the cpm i mean are you confident are you confident what do you have any predictions because the cpm is a very solid cadre based party you have your ground level workers you must be getting an assessment uh, you, you all the cpm leaders are very confident i want to hear from you what is the source of this confidence how many seats you are predicting for the alliance for the combine we are hoping for the best you please also wait we are also waiting and and, and what should be the priority for tripura whichever government whichever government comes to power whichever government comes so to power what should be the priority you have you have e e i would request you to please go through our election manifesto it is not a big one only 75 to 80 points are there very categorically we have stated if i want to narrate all these things it will take i think at least 40 to 45 minutes i don't like to kill you time and you please also allow me to go because some other friends are with you absolutely to to absolutely from, absolutely uh, you please also that go was my last say. question in any case <laughs> mr uh, okay. manik sakar okay. thank you very much for your time and for speaking to me on this special election broadcast thank you so much uh that was that was mr manik sarkar veteran cpim leader politburo member uh was uh, i mean very guarded actually in his comments he would like to make no predictions and he said in fact uh, you know uh the, he indirectly said that the bjp that the cpm or for that matter the left and the congress were actually compelled to come to some kind of a seat sharing and fight the elections together because their objective of the left and the congress was to target and defeat the bjp and that is the only reason why they come together we will quickly to take a look at some of the you know the what the exit poll predictions said as far as tripura is concerned uh, we will look at the exit poll predictions and then take some reactions of uh leaders like uh leaders just like uh we will we'll get the reaction up uh, we'll first of all take a look at the that the exit poll on tripura okay we this is produd de burman's reaction on the exit polls let's take a look to dekh ek exit poll jo tv mein aa raha hai usko dekhkar dukh mat hoiye aap jante hai aapne kisko vote kiya और आप जानते हैं कि कौन जीत रहा है ये लोग तो थोड़ा सा पैसा लेकर कुछ भी लिख देंगे आप चिंता मत करो सिर्फ 36 घंटा बाकी है और उसके बाद पूरा 
इंडिया को मालूम पड़ जाएगा कि तिपरा सा इस बार क्या करने वाला है और जो लोग अभी पटाखा फटा रहा है उसको दो तारीख के बाद हमें थोड़ा सा सहायता करना पड़ेगा क्योंकि उसने अपना पैसा सब खत्म कर दिया पटाखा फटाकर और तब हम लोग अपना असली कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन सोल्यूशन के लिए बात करेंगे बुबागर आपसे बात कर रहा है आप चिंता मत करो जो हारते हैं वो हारने से पहले सबसे ज्यादा आवाज करते हैं डोंट वरी हर कहा All right. Uh, then uh, uh, we have another leader, Sudhi Prabhu Barman of the Congress, who had also reacted to the exit poll predictions. Let's listen in. Amre Rajya Janakon ke prathamo to exit poll bishas takora jono amre rola janachi. Biblan to abar kono jaiga nahi. Jara sthaniyo media prana roye chen. जरा त्रिपुरार जरा गणदेवत भोट केंद्र गे एक पुलिंग बूथ बोल जेखने एक्सिट पोल सम्पन्न एक्सिट पोल मान भोट प्रदान करार पर जो भोट थे बड़ोबे भोटार के आलदा जिज्ञासा कर नान प्रश्न माध्यम कथा अपनारा भोट कर एक पुलिंग स्टेशन बोल राज्य नैशनल मीडिया कि स्थानीय मीडिया All right, uh, that is Sudhipraya Burman commenting on the exit poll. We'll go for a short break. Don't go away. I'll be right back and take a look, quick look at the exit poll predictions. Welcome back viewers before I end the show let's take a look at the exit poll figures uh, we'll take a look at the poll of polls as far as Tripura is concerned that is the poll of polls by various agencies like India Today Times Now Jan Ki Baat and Z News and uh, we have BJP plus at 32 we have the left congress combined at 15 we have Tipra at 12 and we have others one so that is the overall polo polls as far as Tripura is concerned. Uh, BJP uh, and its ally, that is the IPFT, although the IPFT only has uh, contested in five seats, they have a clear edge uh, according to the polo polls, 32. The Congress left combined is 15, the Tipra 12 and others 1. The significant factor out of this entire polo polls is the fact that in its debut election, if Tipra Motha can achieve a two-digit tally. That will mean that Tipramotha has established his dominance over the tribal and some parts of the non-tribal belt in Tripura. That will be the big takeaway from these elections for the Tipramotha. <clears throat> and of course, uh, the NEDA convener, Dr. Himantu Bissar Sharma, is absolutely clear. He says that the BJP will secure an absolute clear majority as far as Tripura is concerned. We have 36 hours to go for the counting. We did not dwell much on the exit polls at this stage. We'll wait and watch as to how things unfold on voting day. We will bring you live coverage of the voting day from 7.30 a.m. onwards on the 2nd of March. Notice Live will bring you minute to minute live updates as for on the elections in the three states, that is Tripura, Meghalaya and Nagaland. I thank Mr. Manik Sarkar, the former Chief Minister of Tripura, for giving time to be on the program and the viewers for watching the show. Good night and goodbye.